Okay, so here we have a, a MX650. Uh, it has a busted freewheel, and uh, this is a really bad one. I'll show you. Uh, but these these break all the time. Um, these break all the time. We're going to show you how to, and they're a pain to remove. So we're going to show you how to how to take it off and and uh, and replace it. Okay, first you just got to take off this wheel. You got to take off this bolt here, and or take off the nut. And that's pretty straightforward. And then you can just pull pull the wheel off. Okay, now the wheel's off. Okay, let's get it on the table and look at that. Yeah. Okay, so this freewheel, this one's actually completely blown up. I mean, this came completely apart. This is the first one that's gone like that. Usually, um, usually they'll just, um, they'll either stop spinning completely so it's frozen, or they'll just spin, free, spin freely both ways. It's supposed to go spin freely one way, and then the other way it's supposed to lock. And that's, that's what it's supposed to work. Um, but this this one just completely blew up. I mean, this came, came apart in pieces. This is one of the weakest uh, pieces weakest links in the MX650, this freewheel. They break all the time, especially when you start um, increasing the power. If you just hit the throttle and full blast from stop, it, it really puts a lot of uh, pressure on this, this freewheel. One thing you can do to prevent it is just um, basically hit the fr throttle sl slowly, let it contact let it contact and then let the freewheel engage and then go full throttle. That'll st stop it from just banging in this freewheel all the time. But that's that's what happens, this thing blows up. And so we're gonna show you how to, um, how to, um, so you, again, usually it will either freeze completely. And so that what that means is when you, when you start slowing, when you slow down, it continues to spin the motor. I don't like that. Uh, or sometimes it will, um, it will, um, just break free completely both directions and then you'll just you hit the throttle and it'll spin and you're, you won't move so um, so uh, we'll show you how to how to replace it now some people just weld this shut I mean if it uh, if it's spinning freely or even before it spins freely they weld it shut and so that means it'll spin the motor as it's slowing as it's slowing down I don't like that I don't like how it, it uh, rides like that but some people do that they just weld this together so it doesn't spin at all um, but i'll show you how to replace it i've replaced several of them and learned some tricks i'll show you first thing you do is just start taking this apart now this is actually free uh or i'm going to pretend like it didn't complete completely come apart because usually this is going to be attached and so we'll just start uh start taking that up let's take these these four bolts out So that takes that apart. That just makes it easier. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that, but it makes it easier to get to these bolts underneath on the back, so you can so you can detach this, this sprocket, which you will need will need to do. Now ours, we actually don't have to because we can just we can just take it off because it completely blew up. But we're trying to show you what would happen if it was stuck or if it was just spinning freely. Okay. okay so next is you you uh, you want to undo these four bolts, and there's a there's a nut on the back that you have to hold when you're doing it. So, so I'm just gonna do these four bolts. It's kind of hard to get get on that nut on the back. Uh, it's a little tricky. Okay, so now that those bolts are out, this um, you can separate this this off of here. And then, then you're stuck with this, which is just the just the freewheel. Now the freewheel, you can take this off too. 
Now the free wheel, there's a couple different styles of free wheel. This one has the two dots right here. And they're, they're make tools where you can, uh, you can attach at a wrench that attaches to that and you can it'll turn it off, okay? They also, sometimes they have notches here on the inside and they make a tool that fits on there and you can pull it off. I think honestly, both of those, I wouldn't waste your time on those. Here's, because these things are stuck on massively tight and it, it's beyond what those tools can do. So what I typically do, and you have to be really careful, I don't have to do it here on this one, so I won't demo it. What, what I typically do is I take a grinder and I grind a notch in this thing. You have to be really careful because you don't want to hit those spokes. I've nicked, nicked these spokes before and um, you don't want to get too deep. But just get through, grind down through this and what you're doing, I don't have to do it on this one because this thing's already busted open. But basically what you're doing is you're trying to cut through this piece, just this piece, and then once that's cut through, I take a screwdriver, I don't have a screwdriver, a screwdriver and separate it out, just twist it to spread it, and then it pops, pops off just like it's popping off now. So typically you have to grind this down, just cut it, cut it. You could do it with a Dremel too, but I do it with a grinder typically. Cut that and just spread it out and then it'll pop off. And then all the bearings and everything, all the little bearing balls and everything will, will pop out. You want to get to a point where it's right, right here. Okay, so this is where you want to get to. to. Once you have it to this point, we're basically, we're going to take the grinder and basically create flat spots here. And I'll show you how we do that. We're going to take a grinder so then we can get a pipe wrench on it. That's how I, I've done this for a long time. This is the only way that works. And not only are we going to put a pipe wrench on it, we're going to put an extension on the end. And that might not even be enough. These are a serious pain. That might not even be enough. So then we have this heat that will apply to it. So we'll go in stages. First we'll cut, cut the sides cut the sides off with a grinder. We'll try to um, we'll try to get it off with a wrench. Then we'll try to get it off with an extended wrench. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll try to get it off with heat with a pipe wrench and with an extended wrench. And that has always worked. Okay, you always want to use eye protection obviously whenever you're grinding. And Okay, there you go. Now I'm just cutting the free wheel. I'm not cutting anything else, but you see I have a flat spot there. So, um, so somewhere that can grab. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other on the other side here. Okay. So that creates uh, two flat spots, and then we can get a wrench on there and really, really torque on it. Okay, so here we go. We're getting ready to get started. So we're, yeah, just like we said, we're going to put this, uh, put it, this on there, and then we have this PVC pipe that, um, you know, any pipe that can fit over the end of that would work. But we have the PVC pipe, which I didn't think would be strong enough, but but it's actually been working fine, and um, to give give us more leverage. And then if that doesn't work, then we can heat. We, I've had to heat the whole, um, just just heat this uh, this free wheel up with with uh, with that, and it works fine. Okay, having two people on this really helps. Now here's the setup that we've we've uh, we usually use. So we got that. Now when you loosen these, it's just the same. Uh, where it's you know counterclockwise loosens it. Uh, we've got. It to, to, we got this board down here that kind of helps hold the wheel. Um, I got somebody pushing directly down on the wheel. We got the wrench on there, and then we have this pipe. And let's just see, see if we don't need heat on this one. Oh, that one went really easy. Okay, now pull it up a little bit more. Pull the wheel, pull the wheel up. Yeah. yeah. Put it back on there. Okay, is it on? Okay. 
Yeah, that thing's that thing's really loose. Now you can bang on, you can put a wrench on, wrench on that and bang on it um, all day, and it, you really have to use the leverage to uh, to do that. But that's how we take the, that's how we get it off. Okay, we'll pull it up. Now it's loose, and we can we can pull that off. Yeah, it's coming off fine. Okay, and we'll take that off. Okay, now that one came off really early, really easy. We'll um, we'll go ahead and pull it the rest of the way off. If it hadn't, if we weren't able to get it to work, uh, take this um, just a torch, torch, and just lay it up against here. Heat this up for a couple minutes. That that um, expands really fast, and then uh, expands really fast, and then uh, and then try it when it's hot. And I've I've always get, gotten that to work. So this method has worked 100% of the time. Okay, we're just finishing getting this off here. These uh, replacement, I've been buying these replacement freewheels with, um, not that we need the sprocket and everything, but they came come off monster scooter monster scooter parts.com we've been just buying these um there's as cheap as buying a freewheel basically and it's already put together so you're just buying those and um you can also electric scooter parts.com has them too monster scooter parts has a uh, little faster shipping uh, but um, i i usually both look both places and it's just screws on really easy it, you don't re really have to worry about tightening tightening it down it'll um, it'll sort of self tighten the first time you ride it so just get it get it down pretty tight as tight as you can with your hand and then and the chain on it will tighten it as soon as you ride it the first time okay there we go and now we just have to put the wheel back on. Okay, the wheel's back on. Uh, just just tighten it back up. And uh, we did replace the chain too. I think it's you can get those on monsterscooterparts.com or electricscooterparts.com. Uh, I usually price match between the two. And then uh, monsterscooterparts.com has faster shipping for sure. So you usually get it in two or three days, most of the parts. Uh, electric scooter parts seems like they're out of, out of stock more, but they have they also have kits. So they have the uh, here's a, here's a oh, um, 1800 watt kit that we got from there. Monsterscooterparts.com just just usually has parts, replacement parts, but no kits. Okay, we'll finish tightening that up. We'll. Uh, Throw this chain back on this bracket and do that now. Yeah. The new chain is quite a bit tighter. Can you rotate that down, Joshua? Hmm. See if you can rotate that sprocket down. You're gonna have to crank on it. Hard. All right, there we go. Yeah, that chain's quite a bit shorter and tighter. But uh, the old chain had loosened up quite a bit and it was come popping off a lot. So I think it's good to replace the chains every once in a while too. You done tightening it? Almost. <laughs> good? Yeah, spin. Sounds good. Okay. All right. You want to test it out? Yeah. 